Okay, so I went shopping and I picked up some twine. And I'm going to go ahead and string up the remainder of my tomato plants. And I'm going to show you how I do it. The most important part is tying the bottom over here. What you want to do is just go ahead and loop this through twice. Here's one time, two times. Come around like you're going to tie a regular knot, just like that. But now you're going to go through the loop and up and around and through that part. See it like that? So when you pull it, this knot is tight and it's not going to shrink and it's loose like this. And then when you put it up over, it catches on a branch and then it holds up your tomato plant. Okay, so that's part one. Okay, part two is when you tie it up, don't tie a knot. What you wanna do is just loop it through like that, loop it through again like that, and then loop it through again like that. This way, if you ever have to loosen it up to retie it, you could just do this. Now it comes apart. Once again, just to tie it up, you just want to put your fingers through and pull it, put your fingers through and pull it, put your fingers through and pull it. That's great. It ain't going nowhere. You could pull on it. Uh, but to loosen it, it's real easy. You just go like this. It could be on there a week or a month and you can still loosen it. Just like that. Okay, hopefully that showed up in the video. Okay, let's try it on this tomato plant right here. Just want to take this, loop it through. Now, just like you're tying a knot, just go once, two over like that. That's a basic knot setup. And then just go through that part. And it don't matter which way, but you could go down through this loop and up through that loop. This way, when you pull it, it's just going to get tangled up in there and hold on. See, now it's now it's not going nowhere. <clears throat> So go ahead and hold your tomato plant up like that. Okay, I'm going to tie this one up right here. Okay, what you want to do is you want to take it like this and do a one, two like that. Now you want to come this way and around. So you actually have like two loops there. Go through that loop and up that loop. So when you pull it, now she ain't going nowhere. You can pull it this way, you can pull it that way. That's a tight, a tight loop, so it's not gonna tighten up on your tomato plant. It's just a loose loose loop. <clears throat> and then it'll hold up your tomato plant just like that. 
Okay, let's do one more over here. Get that out of the way. You just want to do a basic knot. One, two. And if you go over this way and tie the rest of the knot, that's two loops. But if you pull it, it's going to go ahead and loosen. It's going to be a slip knot. So if you go down, down in there, and then up through that, and then pull it. No matter how hard you pull the knot any way, it's not going to slip. And it's just going to hold on tight. Okay, so anyway, I hope you captured that. Um, just basically any way you could, you want this loop, you want to keep this loop from tightening up on the tomato plant. I found that doing that method works just about every time, um, so I use it. So hopefully this is a close up and you could see how it's done. And if you got a method, go ahead and post it below and just continue using it just so long as this loop does not tighten down on your tomato plant okay have a good one